29 Abyss and Hound Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. One of the world's oldest dog breeds, the Ibizan Hound, is a sight hound originating from the Balearic Islands of Spain that became well established on the island of Ibiza around the 8th or 9th century BC. Number 2. This beautiful red and white dog has a long narrow head that strikingly resembles that of the Egyptian jackal god Anubis. With large ears that can point in different directions and flesh-colored nose and eye rims, the Ibizan Hound's distinctive appearance carries a touch of ancient charm. Number 3. Early maritime traders, often known as the people of the sea, were drawn to this breed and carried their dogs to the Balearic Islands, including Menorca, Majorca, and Ibiza off the coast of Spain. Number 4. For centuries, Ibizan hounds thrived on the Balearic Islands amid wars and military presence. Locals used these dogs in groups to hunt rabbits, small game, and sometimes even deer. Known for their agility and keen senses, Ibizan hounds were excellent companions in the hunt, making them crucial allies for survival in tough times. Number 5. The island's scarcity of resources meant that people didn't always share their food with the hound, leading them to develop strong hunting instincts. Chasing rabbits was not so much of a sport, rather it was a matter of eating or starvation. Number 6. This slender, long-legged Spanish hunting breed goes beyond being just a sight hound. Referred to as three-way hunters, locals strategically bred EVs and hounds by pairing the fastest runner with the most alert scent hound. This unique approach helped these agile dogs to successfully hunt in three different ways by sight, by scent, and by sound. Number 7. According to local Balearic legends, during the Second Punic War, the Carthaginian general Hannibal, renowned for his epic crossing of the Alps, is said to have taken some of the island dogs with him. These legends suggest that the Ibizan hounds originating from the Balearic Islands might have been companions in Hannibal's extraordinary military campaign. Number 8. In modern times, tourists rediscovered the Balearic Islands and found them to be wonderfully secluded vacation spots, and the dog lovers among them became captivated by the Balearic Ibizan hound. Number 9. In 1956, the bees and hounds were introduced in the United States by Colonel and Mrs. Consuelo Serrano, and by 1965, there were over 150 of these guys living in the U.S. Number 10. Today, the bees and hounds are very rare in the States. In 2021, they ranked 182nd out of 197 breeds in popularity. Although they are quite rare, they are not that popular, so an bees and hound pup usually costs from $800 up to $1,500. Number 11. The bees and hounds have a slender, elegant build with long, thin legs. The AKC standard even describes them as lithe and racy dogs that possess a deer-like elegance combined with the power of a hunter. Number 12. Ibis and hounds are renowned for their impressive jumping abilities too. When outdoors, it's important to ensure there is a fence at least 6 feet high to keep them secure, as they can effortlessly clear this height even from a standstill. However, no one can deny that their amazing jumping ability makes Ibis and hounds look graceful like a deer galloping. Number 13. Did you know that ancient Roman coins discovered on the Balearic Islands had pictures of some local dogs? Well, these dogs looked a whole lot like today's Ibis and Hounds. The Romans were so fascinated by the special traits of Ibis and Hounds that they decided to feature them on their coins, proving just how much they admired these extraordinary dogs. Number 14. Due to their strong prey drive and hunting instinct, it's probably a bad idea to let the bees and hounds off leash unless they're in a secure, fenced yard. Their tendency to chase fast moving objects makes them a potential risk, especially for families with small pets like rabbits or guinea pigs. However, when it comes to getting along with other dogs, the bees and hounds generally do pretty well, thanks to their natural affinity for canine companionship. Number 15. The bees and hounds were bred to be fast, enduring, and super determined. Nowadays, such skills make them great at activities and canine sports like lure coursing, rally, tracking, obedience, agility, and confirmation shows. Number 16. The Bees and Hounds have been receiving support from IHCUS, that is, the Bees and Hound Club of the United States, which is the official AKC parent breed club. Recognizing the breed's excellence in performance sports, IHCUS is dedicated to promoting the Bees and Hounds' unique qualities and even host exclusive competitions and events for these dogs. Number 17. Bunny, a female Ibis and Hound, holds the record as the most successful Ibis and Hound in the U.S. history, boasting an impressive 43 Best in Show victories, 133 Hound Group wins, and earning the title of a two-time IHCUS National Specialty winner. Her remarkable achievements also include being ranked the number one Ibis and Hound from 2000 to 2003 and securing the impressive third position in overall rankings in 2003. Number 18. Ibis and Hounds are medium-sized dogs, with males standing 23.5 to 27 and a half inches tall and weighing 45 to 50 pounds. Females are slightly smaller, standing 22 and a half to 26 inches tall and weighing 40 to 45 pounds. 
number 19, hippies and hounds come in two coat varieties, among which the more common one is the smooth and short coated one. However, there is also another type with a wire haired appearance in which the coat is harsh and about 1 to 3 inches long. Number 20, hippies and hounds are usually easy to handle because of their short coat, needing less grooming. They shed minimally and don't have a strong doggy smell, making them suitable for people with allergies. Plus, their low maintenance feature is also great for apartment living. Number 21, hippies and hounds coats can be red, white, or a combination of both. However, those with colors other than white or red are deemed ineligible to be considered an actual hippies and hound by the AKC standard. Number 22, people often call hippies and hounds beezers as a short and casual way to refer to the breed. It's a nickname that some people use for hippies and hounds, but it does not have any specific meaning or so. Well, it's just a fun way of referring to these elegant dogs. Number 23, hippies and hounds are very intelligent and easy to train, but sometimes they can be independent and stubborn too. They can get jumpy if touched unexpectedly or held too tightly, so it's better to use words to correct them rather than physical actions, because it's less upsetting and does not distract them as much. Number 24, when dealing with hippies and hounds, it's important to handle them calmly and persuasively. They respond well to positive reinforcement like treats and praise, but harsh corrections can upset them, and at times they might even react unexpectedly. Number 25, this breed is different from others and may challenge traditional training methods. Using the clicker method tends to work effectively with EVs and hounds. This method involves using a clicker to mark desired behaviors followed by a reward. EVs and hounds being sensitive and somewhat independent often respond positively, making it an effective and rewarding approach in their training journey. Number 26, EVs and hounds, though smaller, share a similarity in appearance with ancient Egyptian dogs like greyhounds and pharaoh hounds. However, a research study from 2004 analyzing genetic differences between breeds indicated that EVs and hounds were formed through a mix of several breeds, but surprisingly, they are not directly linked to their Egyptian counterparts. Number 27, the painting Two Bees and Hounds, made famous by the Italian artist Gaetano Forte in the 18th century, is a beautiful piece that does not get enough credit. It shows how graceful and lovely bees and hounds are. Even though not many people know about it, Forte's painting forever captures the charm and elegance of the bees and hounds, giving us a special look at how people saw these dogs in art a long time ago. Number 28, the bees and hounds can live as long as 13 years with relatively few genetic health issues. Even though they're quite healthy, they are still at risk for some genetic health conditions like congenital deafness, where the dog is born deaf, which may affect one ear or both ears. These guys are also prone to retinal dysplasia, which leads to vision impairments. Number 29, hippies and hounds are more susceptible to a common condition called hypothyroidism in which the body does not make enough thyroid hormone. Signs of this can include gaining weight, feeling tired a lot, losing hair, having skin problems, not liking the cold, and acting differently. If you notice these signs, make sure you seek your vet's help. Alright guys, which among these hippies and hound facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.